We are kicking off Monday morning by transferring all the footage. We have such a big week this week. I have to go into the office. We gotta take care of a whole bunch of really big projects. And then the goal is this week to actually work on the home a little bit, cleaning up, removing old items that we don't need anymore. I swear this little guy's gonna love computers as much as I do. He's just gonna watch me on them and be like, yeah, I wanna do that. That sounds like a good idea. What's your cooking, beautiful boo? Chicken salad? The best chicken salad on the planet? Stephanie's actually cooking the second best chicken on the planet, according to her. Her favorite chicken salad in the universe is at a nice, fancy restaurant in Minneapolis called Seville. All right, Stephanie, what on earth did you just make? I made a delicious plated salad. Ooh. So yummy. Let's eat it before it gets cold. I've always been told that Manfrotto makes some of the best tripods out there. And seeing reviews online, that's always backed that up. But I just bought a Manfrotto tripod. Not the best. I think part of my problem is that I bought a compact travel one for like 60 bucks when you should normally be spending several hundred dollars on a real tripod. Just a couple minutes ago, I took it out of its case and tried putting it up. It's super flimsy, super unreliable. Like you can see this head, like it bobbles around. It's not very locked in. So I'm probably going to end up returning this. For some reason, I had this idea that an aluminum tripod would be stronger than my current plastic one. but. I don't know if the aluminum's just too thin, but it like bends whenever you push on it. So I'm gonna return this one, probably gonna try and get a carbon fiber one. Is that the is that material I need? Or maybe just a more expensive one that's a little bit thicker. All right, so we've made a concrete plan now. We are gonna use these Lutron Cassetta wireless switches and we're gonna swap out all four of these light switches so we can use the home when we come downstairs to just say, turn on the downstairs lights and then the whole room should just come alive. We did this with the porch light, but we almost never use it, but we still like it. The one light switch in the room that that won't take care of is the fan and the attached light bulb there because it's got this weird non-standard dual. So you've got the dimmer up here, you've got the fan control down there. So I'm probably gonna have to swap it out with some sort of IoT fan control and some sort of IoT light switch and then get a brand new cover for that. If we do this all successfully, we're gonna probably end up using our voice to control the lights far more than the Philips Hue tap that we've got here. I absolutely love Philips Hue bulbs. I even have like a whole drawer full of old timey ones that we're not even using right now. But the problem is it's just not as slick as something that's in the wall that can control a bunch of lights at once. And so we, in every room that we use our Hue bulbs, we actually have all these taps and switches and dimmers and it makes it a little bit confusing on which switch you're supposed to be using. The idea that it's in the wall and can be controlled by IoT is perfect. Just finished another demos with Angular video and I really wanna keep working, but I gotta go to bed. If I don't go to bed right now, I'm totally gonna to regret it tomorrow because I have to stay up late tomorrow night because I'm attending another meetup, this time the Modern Web Meetup and I'm talking about Angular migrations. Good night.